and I already know my friends. I already know what they could or cannot do. So I'm just saying, like, now I start looking like, why if the sex is actually good and we already so much, you already know everything about me. We already like each other in that sense. So I have the sex just hit. That means women is jackpot. But what if it don't hit? It's wet pack. <laughs> like, what is it? Oh, what I if know. It... You look. He did look. Okay. It's, it's zesty up in here. Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and we're back again with another gem from Eight at the Table. And this one is entitled, wait, we gotta check it. Why do men get friend zoned? So this is gonna be interesting uh, to hear. And as you can see, um, my BFF Danny Deuces is here, a woman of high morals and character, um, clearly a wife, and I mean, Mother Teresa level out here. So <laughs> there's so much to learn. Let's get started. I used to be like, I'm never messing with a homeboy. I'm never messing with a friend. Maybe it might take me six to eight months of learning Nikki to get Nikki. Maybe it might take me five to 10 years of learning Nikki to get Nikki. It wasn't that he was not putting in work, let's be clear. He was orbiting, so that is work to orbit. There's listening to you, probably picking you up, probably taking you out on dates. Other guys are like you, but you just describe yourself. That's why you are always placed in the friend zone. It's your job to be a friend to me. What you're doing, I'm not supposed to pay you for it. Okay, once again, we've got some gems from the start. So the one dude is saying that it may take him whatever months, I can't remember, but he said five to 10 years to know the woman, to win her over. And then he's talking about being an orbiter is work. Bruh, if you have to be around a woman for five to 10 years for her to be sexually attracted to you and give you a chance, and if you're saying being a male orbiter to a woman who does not want you, who has friend zoned you, Do I need to say it? Do I, you want me to say it? You want me to say it? Okay, I won't say it. A lot of time, I friends on guys that actually look very good. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I friends on guys that actually, like, I enjoy being around because I know we about to be friends and everything gonna get messed up. I'm gonna lose my friendship. Oh, Sometimes so you I friend zone my because you're not good enough. No, not that I'm not good enough. I'm, I'm afraid Yo. that. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid that, no, you bugging. I'm afraid that I'm gonna lose the friendship that I have with them. Cause I feel like once you start messing around, it's not the same no more. I'm gonna miss But that's why I asked the not good, not that you're not good, but like, for example, if I know deep down inside I want a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel you a fit, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be friendly, but you're not gonna be in a friend zone. Okay. You know, you get what I'm saying? Okay. So if you just said he's a nice guy, they're attractive, is it? Why friend zone? Why friend zone him? Like, why not? Because I just feel like, in the back of my head, I just feel like I value friend. That's the thing about me. I value friendship more mm -hmm. over relationships. Mm -hmm. I know I have friends, guy friends that that will last way longer if you don't get sexually involved. But I feel like as soon as you get sexually involved okay. with a guy, things change. Not you know what time. I'm saying? A lot of time it change. It's not what you can just fucking yeah. be cool. It doesn't. I agree. Is it I start I bugging or you gonna start bugging? No male is not befriending an attractive female that they find attractive. Thank you. And the only reason why they will befriend, and I think I already spoke on this, is because they're gonna wait their turn, or, now that, I, now that I'm thinking about it, they don't know how to get you. Other than... So they, they gotta learn you. They have to learn you. I gotta spend, I, I know that maybe I could get Aaron today. No, nah, I really can't. But let's say I can get Aaron today, She's a right? <laughs> but like maybe it might take me six to eight months of learning Nikki to get Nikki. Maybe it might take me five to ten years of learning Nikki to get Nikki. Maybe it might take me some time and the right opportunity because Nikki's really not into me. So some men know how to play the role, just like some females know how to play the role. You know what I'm saying? So like, what I'm gonna say is that now. I'm also gonna say is, I will never, I don't care how, how you feel. I don't mean no harm, but if a dude is orbiting me for five to 10 years, bro, I don't want you. Women don't, well, she don't want you. She's not sexually attracted to you. And most likely she's gonna leave you or you're just, she's down bad, but you're not who she wants. Doesn't mean you are a bad guy. Maybe she's, over, she's stupid and she's overlooking a good man. Especially a man who's willing to put in that much work. But a lot of times men give off simp energy. They give off, 
weak energy. And I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, you could just tell. Like, I don't know how women do it, but we, a lot of women can tell. And it's not, and it may be for that particular woman, it feels that way, but another woman, she may feel differently about you. But I also think women think they have this endless plethora of options, even as they age, and that they can kind of, you know, there's all these men coming, so I can just kind of keep guys all around, and that'll never end, that I could just always have my pick of the litter. And then they get into this thing, when they don't feel the need to prioritize marriage or a relationship or to work on themselves because they have all these men who are just so pressed to get to them. It's like, why do I need to improve? Why do I need to change? I got plenty of dudes that's ready to wife me up. Plenty of dudes is trying. So you, you get this false sense of pride and ego where it's a man you don't want who's giving you attention, but yet you, you, it makes you believe you have this endless options, even though they aren't the options you want. So you see how it doesn't make sense? And plus a man is hanging on for you to just be weak for a moment for 10 years, bruh, governor. Yeah, that's, yeah. I, what is the male version of you belong to the streets? Like if you're not, if you're simping, like what, what is that? Like we need to come up with something, guys. Like the male version of you belong to the streets is 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 a guy simp and male orbiter guys who <laughs> who will put themselves in that position that long. Now, if you're just a guy where you're dating a bunch of women and hey, I got women friends everywhere, and if she down bad, I'm just trying to knock down whoever's available. Then that's different. But if you're just like, oh, one day I win Juliet's heart, it's like, bruh, she don't want you. Yo, especially Nikki. I would never, ever trust a girl who has too many guy friends. Why not? I would never trust a girl that has too Why many not? guy like friends. That's not insecurities talking? That's not insecurities. It's not even insecurities. Raise your hand if you think it's insecurities. My thing is, my thing is, it's just, all right, that's cool. But my thing is, it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it does not make sense. You cannot, listen, if I talk, if I call I Oliver, that. I can sit here and talk, tell Oliver about a crazy trip in Houston. Mm -hmm. And we can align, we can relate. He could be like, yo, that shit was crazy. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Ah, uh ah, -uh. right? But on a girl's aspect, there's really no real, like, similarities in, every, in a guy's life and a girl's life. So it's hard for a, a straight male to have a girlfriend because I can't really talk to you. What am I gonna do, vent to you? That's, to me, that's an, it's not really a man if you ask me that. But there's no real relationship that, that I could have with a female in terms of a similarity of life experiences. I don't wanna hear, you, hear how your man is, is digging you down and you don't wanna hear how I'm digging my girl down. Am so I, how are we really, really yeah, friends? But you, so I just wanna say, like, so that's the only thing men and women can talk about. Hey, let me tell you how I'm, uh, do you call your, uh, that's what I want to know for, do men call each other and tell me, let me tell you how I dicked, dicked my girl down. <laughs> Bro, you're not going to believe. <laughs> I really put it in her. It was like two balls, <laughs> not just one. Like, is this, this what grown men are doing? I don't even know grown women who call him and say, oh, girl, he put it on. Like, what? I, that, I mean, first of all, that just sounds absurd for two men or two women to be talking like that. Maybe. These modern people, y'all, all y'all, all I, I can't deal with y'all. Y'all all for the streets. But I will say, I do agree, you know, um, yeah, there's no need for a woman to have all these male friends because this is the thing. It leads to opportunity. If your man's not doing something right or it feels that, and I feel the same way about a man having female friends it gives you an out. It gives you an outlet when your needs aren't being met in your relationship. Now, if it's people where you talk once or twice a year, the birthday, Christmas, things like that, group chat or something like from, yeah, from high school, whatever, that's different. But like somebody that you're on the phone with and meet up with regularly as a friend, to me, I don't understand why that relationship is necessary once you go into marriage. And again, these are people who have never been married. I was married for 12 years. And so you don't understand, like, you don't, one, when you become grown like that, you don't have time for all these friends unless it's a business relationship or your kids are doing the same thing. But then again, the women go with the women, the men generally go with the men. Um, so it just, if you, it, it causes you to think you have more options than you do. And you, 
it, if you, it makes you feel like, oh, he listens to me all the time. My husband never listens to me. Or he's, you know, he's talking that sweet nothing, especially if he's orbiting around trying to get in your draws. But a lot of women will say, hey, you don't, girl, it ain't like that, is it? And you know it is, sis. You just lying. You capping. Because you like that attention. You like that validation. And you like that kind of like sneaky link outlet, not saying you're doing something. But it feeds you, it feeds that ego. And you're not leaving and cleaving. You're not joining as one. And this is, you know, you're not, you, you have this out. And the reality is it can damage a relationship greatly. But maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I disagree with that statement that guy, just that one statement that guys and um, girls can't be friends because you said you're not going to be talking about, you know, how you're fucking your girl. She's not going to be telling you how her nigga is fucking her. Um, but that's not really the only conversation that, you know, female friends have with their guy friends. Like, you guys can be talking about... I'm sure you and your friends don't talk about sex and who you guys are fucking all the time. Like, that's not your only conversation. 75%. <laughs> okay, well, that is sad, but, um... <laughs> Seriously. But there is room for guys to have female... Y'all, so I'm wrong. Grown men are sitting around talking about who they... This is what men are doing? Like, what age are we... Are just high school? Like, grown men are sitting around talking about all the women, the women that they're... I, is it true? Am I off? Because I learned something new today. To me, it just sounds like, okay, like 75% of your conversation is about who you having sex with as a grown man. Not investing, not building wealth, not the game, not life, not anything. Who you sleeping with. Female friends, I feel like that is totally okay. Now, I'm gonna agree with you on saying that it's not insecurity that can play a part with not trusting a girl having too many guy friends. Um, and I'm just playing devil's advocate because I do have a lot of guy friends, but on your end, you are a guy. So I think that you're taking it as you know how you're gonna treat a girl that you're friends with you know you're waiting in line. You're going to see how you can get her, how you can pursue her. So you're going to assume that about any other guy that she is friends with, correct? Can I say one thing? Yeah. But I, I just correct. want to know if, I, if that's I, correct. I'm not going to say no, but go ahead, continue. No, well, I'm, I'm just trying to play devil's I'm advocate just saying on why it, can't, it could not be insecurity. I'm just saying that even if it's not about waiting in line, it's the simple fact that there's a lack of similarities in conversations for the most part. Now, to me, like, let me also distinguish what a friend is, right? If I'm friends with Nikki and I talk to Nikki once a month, that's, to me, that's not a real friend. To me, a friend is somebody you talk to on a weekly basis. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have acquaintances and then I have friends, right? Friends are, friends and acquaintances are way different. And everybody's different, right? I'm just telling you what I think of is a friend, right. right? A friend to me, I speak to, like, actually, all my friends, I speak to every single week, you know, at least once. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my friends. Whether we just check up, like, yo, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I right, bet. Yo, you know, how's your kid? Boom, boom, boom. Yo, how's your girl? Boom, boom, boom. That's my friends. But acquaintances, if I run into you and the next day I know I text you the next day and we end up going out and we drinking, that's not my friend. That's my acquaintance. You know what I'm saying? So to me, it's different. So when a girl has friends... That means that they're actively in their life often. So for a girl to have a lot of guy friends, to me, it just doesn't make sense. That's okay, I, I, I see how you... Um, hold on, Nikki, just one second. Um, I see how you differentiate friends and acquaintances, but that's not everyone's <clears throat> truth, you know? Some mm -hmm. people do have friends that they don't talk to on a daily or even Facts. a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they have friends in other states that they don't communicate that often or, you know, for any reason. It doesn't even have to mean that they don't... It doesn't have to mean that they don't but live near or anything like yeah. that. Um, I don't think that because you don't talk on a weekly basis, you're automatically, not you know, demoted to an yeah. acquaintance yeah. and not a, but and like, not a friend. But, like, but let's say, if this is a year and you talk... I can see both sides of what they're saying right now. So I don't want to cap here. I do see 
what he's saying and I see what she's saying. I think they have different definition of what friends are. Like I said, what he talked about earlier where just calling a homegirl like, oh man, I just, I just, you know, knock down this broad and met at the whatever. And then like, she's like, oh my gosh, I just had two guys over me on me the last, the other night. Like, but if it's like a business relationship, there's different type forms of friendship. Um, people, you know, from childhood, people, you know, this, that, and the other. So I, I get where they're both coming from. I'm just saying when you get to a certain stage in relationship for marriage, you, there needs to be a clear line of delineation that this, you know, of what your spouse is comfortable with and what you're comfortable with. And in my experience, most men are not comfortable with you having a friendship and a consistent friendship with men, uh, just because the y'all know each other. Once you enter in again, this is, these are people who are, this is talking about if you're more marriage minded, these people don't seem like they're really into marriage or it, it just, I mean, the conversations they have on this show, just their minds are just so far from what that is. I, I, I can see why they're in this space. They just have a very single mindset. Maybe they've never been around people who've been married a long time. My parents have been married 43 years. So you don't understand what that looks like, but People are married. They just don't do that. But again, if you're marriage minded, you, 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 you just, you, you make adjustments for the person that you're with and those friendships. Okay. Well, it's got to go because I want to marry this person. This is who I want to be with. And it's not about jealousy, but it's about guarding your heart and setting up boundaries. Talk to them seven months out of the year. That's your friend. But if it's a year, and I talked to you, and I talked to you 12 times an entire year, that's not a real friend. That's my best friend. I for mean. Danny uh, and not for Rico, but like, and that's cool. But I'm just saying, for me, we so, talk 52 times a year. I, yeah, I talk. To, yeah, Danny's my friend. No, I said all. No, all of us. <laughs> yeah, 52 but, times. Yeah, but so that's a weekly mean, basis. This is my whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Lately, from before, I, I used to be like, I'm never messing with a homeboy. I'm never messing with a friend. That used to be my slogan, and I went with it for a minute. Right, but lately I noticed I don't even want to get to know new people. When I'm single, I go look to my homeboys. Like, I'm see no. Oh, lately, happened. that's how I feel like. Lately, I've been feeling more comfortable with my 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 my, my homeboys than so that's a why stranger. You friends on them. I get it now. No, but from before, I never had sex. Like, it just so started happening like a year or two years ago. I realized like when like we already got the friendship. <laughs> I'm like, okay, if we fuck, the sex is good. Then go. Like, so you kind of proving their point. This is what I'm saying, right? We like Nikki said, that's why I'm happy she brought it back. We had that conversation. Men and women can't be friends. So I started looking at my whole circle. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying now I just like lately I just been looking at it like it's so hard for me to get to know new people. Like and I already know my friends. I already know what they could or cannot do. So I'm just saying, like, now I start looking like, why if the sex is actually good and we already so much, you already know everything about me. We already like each other in that sense. So I have the sex just hit. That means women is jackpot. But what if it don't hit? It's wet pack. <laughs> like, what is it? Oh, what I if know. It... You look... He did look... Okay. It's, it's zesty up in here. But, um... But yeah, which this is the reason why. You see what she's saying? She's now looking at them as sec potential sexual partners. They've been in the friend zone, but it's like, look, she down bad. She getting older. The streets didn't, didn't ate her up. She can't find nothing in the streets. Oh, I've known him for years. Maybe this could be something, blah, 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 blah. This is the reason why I think, you know, if you want to do it, didn't do that. But a person who's marriage minded, who dates with intention, this is so far from your pattern of thought you know if somebody's good if a man's good enough to be your friend why isn't he good enough for you to be in a relationship with and is it because he doesn't have the swag because he doesn't look a particular way this that and the other but if he has all the qualities that make him a good man a man good enough for you to confine it confide in to be around to hang out to trust and all these other things are you being too shallow are you picking the wrong things especially if you're going from relationship to relationship or having no relationships just hookups why are you overlooking that man? That's a better question as to why you need to go to therapy, sis, along with a lot of other things you've said, but we're going to digress. Lose. So are you willing to That's go what for I'm that saying. gamble? A lot of times I feel like I put men in a friend zone is because I prefer their friendship over sex. 
Because you're not willing to lose the friendship over. Yeah, yeah, because honestly, I could fuck and not give a fuck. I could fuck you and never call you back but like a nigga on some hold, real shit. So. I, I, feel, I feel like with me, I just really like exclusive. Uh, Exclusivity. Exclusive. Yeah. Exclusivity. Exclusivity, I got you. You know what I'm trying to say. Because I like to be, and, and I told Rico this, I like to be an exclusive. I like that when a dude bring me around his friends, they be like, yo, you hit that? And he be like, nah. Like, I love that, because I have a homeboy, literally every female that he brought around me. No, he had sex with them. So they just be chilling with him and mm-hmm. chilling with his girl, and everybody just be chilling, and I'm just like... You know what I don't like? When we try to use cop-out answers, right? And the cop-out answer is trying to say, um, hey, I, I'm so this that no matter what guy that is friends with me, he's going to <laughs> fuck me. No, realistically, any guy who meets you wants to fuck you, so you realistically, no guy could just be a friend with you. That's the reality of the situation. No guy can just be a friend with Nikki. I, I do believe all Joe Society may think I'm Captain Rico. I do believe we all have the willpower to be friends. Bless you, Amanda. We do have the willpower, you know, to control ourselves. Like, Yo, Nikki's my friend, Danny's my friend, Amanda's my friend, Aaron my friend. I'm not going to do it. Yes, my thoughts is if they said yes, I'm going to do it, but I have enough self-control to not do it. So I think... Maybe all right, I think I've had enough of this conversation. I, I get what they're saying. They're just spinning it in different circles. Men can't just be friends with you. They want to F you and all this other stuff. I get it. Okay, I get it. But what I, you even hear what Danny says. She's just like, I could just have sex with a guy and not care, not feel anything, not do anything. How do you get to the place where you are so traumatized? Sex means nothing to you. Like, how, how, that's a bigger question than can is somebody be in the friend zone? <laughs> that's a bigger conversation that we need to get to. But she is also the same woman that said a hundred bodies does not make you a hoe, does it not make you a 304. So I'm just too Pollyanna. I'm just too green. I'm just too stuck up. I'm just a pick me who's uh, being deceived. But anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe. Also, leave a comment below what you think about this uh, conversation and leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.